Yo. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to make this super easy, customizable spiral uh, animation template thing that you can really easily edit and customize and all that stuff and make your own and set up uh, in just a few minutes. Um, and if you're super lazy, you don't even have to watch this damn thing. You can just uh, download this project file for free and just use that. So yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Create a new composition. We'll call this one main comp. 1920 by 1920 is fine. Okay. Um, first thing we want to do is open up your preview panel and make sure that this button is checked here so we can show our overlays on layer controls. Um, then we're gonna open up our guides here and drag some guides down to the center point. So that's gonna be 960, uh, 960 and 960. If I can get it. Come on, here we go. And let's snap to guides and lock guides. Okay, and then also make sure that snapping is on up here. So we need to make some nulls with center points in the middle. So if you don't have motion two, like you're some kind of savage that can do this automatically, then what you're gonna need to do is create a new null object snap it to the middle and then click Y drag your center point over and there you go so let's call this one our control null and we're gonna add two slider two slider controls to this make one duplicate it we'll call this one position speed we'll call this one rotation speed and I'm gonna add some totally random values here that I definitely did not test already just so we have something here okay and then we're gonna lock this because we're gonna need to reference this a bit so I'm gonna make another null object here I'll do it the old way. Make another one. Drag it over. Boom. We'll call this guy position null one. And let's make this one a different color. How about green? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to twirl down these properties here. Right click the position and separate dimensions. Alt click on the Y position to bring up this expression and pick whip this to the position speed. And then at the beginning, we're going to type in time times. And then at the end, we can add plus value just for fun. So we have a little customization there. And then if you scrub forward, you can see it's starting to move, it's alive. Look at that. All right, let's add another null object. Same deal. Drag it over. We'll call this one rotation null one. How about we make this one blue? That's so fun, blue. Okay, twirl this down and we will Alt click on the rotation, pick whip this to the rotation slider, and same deal, time, times, and then add plus value. And then let's parent our position null to the rotation null. And now you can see we have a little spiral action going on here. Would you look at that? And then one more thing we need to do is we're going to animate the scale of this position null. So let's start 
zero at the beginning and say 100 at the end or really whatever you want here. So zero here. And now we have the basis of our spiral going. So I'm going to go to an easy point where I can drag over one of my units, which I just have a little pill. Actually, it's a pretty big pill. Let's make this a little smaller. And I'm going to drag, I'm going to parent this to the position null. Let's check it out again. And there it goes. So now, if this is all that I want, if I want all of my spirals to be the same thing, then all I really need to do here is just pre-compose all of these into one thing. I'll call this a spiral unit. And maybe duplicate this a bunch of times. And then I'll just go and stagger this. I'm using a free script over here to stagger these. You can also right click on all these keyframe assistant sequence layers, but I'll do it my way. And then if we drag through again, we have a spiral forming. It's beautiful. And we can, let's say, pre-compose these again. Duplicate it and rotate the top one 180 degrees. and have a more complicated spiral. You can see how you can just start messing around with these pre-comps, duplicating them in various ways, and just get some really nice form starting to happen. And so all you really have to do is mess with these values on your control layer in here now to mess with the speed, mess with the speed, the rotation speed, and when you go back to your main comp, it's going to change the speed, rotation of everything. And here's a hot tip. Instead of switching back and forth between these two views like this, just right click here, make a new viewer. You can lock this one. And then with this screen selected, you can just open up this comp view. Oops, and unlock this one. And then you can see these two side by side and make changes. So you can see both screens open at once and really see what you're doing. And that's an easy way to edit without having to switch back and forth. Although if you just keep this locked up here, you also don't really need to do that in the first place. But it's just nice to know. The more you know, and the reason I leave these um, grayscale is it's much easier to, let's say, add a tint to one of these. You know, let's say I want to make these red, a reddish color. And then I can add a tint to this one and make these blue. And that way my I have still just one pre-comp that I, if I want to go back and edit something that's kind of non-destructive, so now I can go back in, he, in here and change some of the values, and I haven't actually changed anything in the actual animation, but I'm working with some kind of difference here. I got some red pill, blue pill situation going on. Um, that's kind of a way to give these things a difference without really changing anything. Or you could go into these comps and, and change these colors. Because um, I like to keep things simple, keep it easy. I'm lazy, so that's an easier solution for me. So yeah, that's really it. Um, the tutorial is over now, but I'm going to let this keep playing for like 30 seconds so that this video hits 10 minutes so that I can uh, make more money off of it because I really like money, and that's how YouTube works. Okay. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good.